I am currently a student in the Foise Business School studying industrial and management engineering. So I chose WPI because in high school I was very good at math and science. Um, I did have a bit of a business acumen and I did think I was interested in business and my uh, advisor recommended schools such as RPI, MIT, WPI, Babson, the NESCAC schools for those that aren't familiar, Hamilton, Trinity for some examples. But I chose WPI because I wanted a different side. I went to a school that was more liberal arts based so I wanted a school that can offer you some type of business but also a technical background perhaps. Companies today, I think, are looking for a diverse background. Um, I'm in the graduate school as well, and I remember the first thing that Professor Sharon Wolf had said in one of our graduate classes was she referenced Jamie Dimon, former CEO of JP Morgan, and he talked a lot about as technology is rolling forward, you know, what do I need to do? He's like, well, I need to develop people better. I think it's important to develop people more as you develop technology, and then they can roll with each other. And I think that's where I see the future heading, opposed to just technology taking over especially at my internship I noticed and WPI kind of made me realize this as well that just because you do a certain thing you might do something else and they're all interchangeable and they all work together and I actually found a lot of mechanical engineers uh, even a bio biomedical engineer which was interesting at my company that I worked for Pratt and Whitney being involved in the business aspect but also being involved in the engineering aspect so I think if you look at the business school it kind of gives you a really good foundation and I think it sets you up for success being able to mesh with others like that person and describe, you know, WPI students mesh, that's stuck in my mind a lot, because I think we do mesh. The most important thing, I think, in this world is developing your interpersonal skills, and I learned that day one in a class taught by Professor Sharon Wolf, who's currently my advisor, and I think, you know, sometimes those skills are lost, and from what I've learned, like, you could have all the knowledge in the world, but if you're not adaptable and you don't display acts of good interpersonal skills, you might fall short. So why am I happy to be a GOAT? Because I think it's a tight-knit community. I think everyone cares about each other from the sports team to the robotics team to the professors in class. And I've been able to build some really good relationships and that's why I'm proud to be a GOAT.